What's been the most memorable time period of your life? Being married to my wife for 51 years. I'll never forget her. We were a perfect couple and uh, enjoyed each day together. And when I lost her, I lost my life. So I'm just existing now till I go and join her. And I'm 93 years old, so I don't have much time left, I'm sure. But if, if you're lucky, you'll find a woman like I did who will never argue, never fight, never do anything against you, and she'll love you and you'll love her the rest of your life too. It's all you can ask for is a good partner. And I didn't get married till I was 38 and she was 43. So we were a close couple every way we were close. And her name was Phyllis. So it was Phyllis and Dick everywhere we went. What do you remember about Phyllis? I remember how she would light up a room when she walked in and uh, everybody loved to talk to her and uh, share things with her and she did the same back to them and uh, she just never had an enemy in the world she was always loved and uh, she had a beautiful life and I was lucky to share it with her how many children did you have I have three sons from my wife's previous husband he died of a heart attack at 37 years old so he left three beautiful boys and Phyllis and I was fortunate enough to become their father for the rest of their lives so you took over as the father position after the first husband passed I joined the four of them and uh, we had a family of five we were together for 51 years. Now I still have the three boys, but they're spread out over the West Coast, so uh, I enjoyed them while I had them. <laughs> and now I don't see them that often, but I still enjoy them when I talk to them. Never had a kid of your own? I never, fortunately, because I was single in my younger days. I was just waiting for the right woman, and I finally found her with Phyllis. No regrets. Sounds like Phyllis was a wonderful woman, man. She surely was. I hope she enjoyed life as well as I did as a pair. What's something that you did in your life that you never expected that you would do when you were younger? Now that's a hard one. I can't remember ever dreaming of having something ahead, but rather just hoping day by day that it would be uh, worthwhile and enjoyable, and it was. But as far as having a real tremendous goal, I kind of live day to day. I can't say I had a real dying wish to do something. What advice would you give to the younger generations? To search for peace in the world. Somewhere out there, there's got to be a leader, which we desperately need in this country, who can uh, gather the entire world and the countries involved into a peaceful, friendly relationship. There is no good end coming if the big countries are led by dictators who are only looking out for themselves and don't have any consideration for the people that live in their countries. What words of advice would you give a kid in his 20s? I would say you're just at the right age to go out in the world and be your own boss. You'll never get really ahead working for someone else. So I would advise you to save what you can and find an industry or an activity that you really enjoy. Follow that path and you'll be successful. You believe in the afterlife? I believe in a God who will take care of us in life or in death. Some people believe in afterlife and want to come back as a dog or a fish or something. I don't. <laughs> I hope he'll take good care of me when I go.